What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quarter. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. We've got some spicy, spicy news for today. It appears that Joe Rogan has been pulled from tonight's UFC broadcast by Sony and or ESPN. They all, they're all they all the same company, as well as Jon Stewart coming out and defending uh, Joe Rogan. And uh, the left is big mad about it. Joe Rogan's podcast attracts an estimated 11 million people per episode. That's more than all of CNN's daily shows combined. No wonder the left is out to get him. This is from Representative Jim Jordan. And then we see this article in the New York Post. John Stewart defends Joe Rogan over misinformation label. John Stewart is coming to the defense of fellow podcaster Joe Rogan over the uproar, uproar surrounding misinformation, quote unquote. That prompted calls for Spotify to sever ties with this $100 million star. Stewart, the former star of Comedy Central's The Daily Show, who is now hosting his own gab fest on Apple streaming service, said Thursday that canceling Rogan would be akin to banning Stewart from television for his opposition to the uh, situation in Iraq back in 2003. Quote, the New York Times is right. Uh, the New York Times, right, was a giant purveyor of misinformation and disinformation, Stewart said of the newspaper's editorial support for the Iraq war. And that's a vaunted media organization, a vaunted media organization as you can find, but there was no accountability for them. The Times and other mainstream news organizations were criticized, unquestion criticized for unquestioningly reporting the Bush administration's claims on Sodom and all this type of stuff. Uh, no such things were ever found, according to Rogan, or I'm sorry, to John Stewart, after American troops removed him, uh, and installed a friendly government in Baghdad. Stewart said Thursday that he was very vocal about opposing. Now, some soldiers have emailed me when I've said that claim that they never found anything and said that they did. I don't know, but I don't know that we knew that at the time. I think that they maybe found them. You know, if it was if we knew that he had them and that he was developing them, you feel like we would have found them quicker. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, at the time, there was a lot of question as whether or not that was actually the truth about why we were going there. Couldn't I have gone down and fallen for this if Viacom or Comedy Central had wanted to censor me or had taken me off the, I'm not an owned by a platform, nobody is, he said. Stewart added, but my point is, these are shifting sands, and I think I get concerned with, well, who gets to decide? Rogan hit out at mainstream media, uh, outlets such as CNN on to Thursday, calling them dishonest for his portrayal of his podcast. Well, I think what John Stewart is trying to say here is a lot of this situation is fluid, especially in the case of the coup, right? Um, we now know there's been, they've gone back and made revisions to things. They've come out and said like, oh, hey, you know, cloth is, you know, less effective than we thought. All these sorts of things now are coming out that Rogan has just questioned along the way and everyone seems okay with it. Um, you know, th nobody seems to care that, uh, all this information was wrong because it came from St. Fauci. And even I, as much as I hate him, um, have said that he's been put in an impossible position. Um, I don't like the guy. I, I mean, if you need to look into some of the stuff he's funded, it's appalling, but also like he didn't know he pretended he knew. And that was the problem. Our government foolishly thought that the American people needed expert advice and no wiggle room so they came out and said in my opinion this is the way it is and if you say it isn't this way then we're going to ruin your life the problem is people were on the streets seeing that it was maybe not always that way and they ruined their own credibility when the when the whole i made this um comparison early on when, when uh, my state tried to lock us down and they got overturned by our 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 chad supreme court the way the rhetoric that my governor was using you would think they were stacking bodies in the street like cordwood. Yet every hospital people drove by where I live, where I live, was empty. I know that there are some that were overrun. I'm not disputing that. But where I live, I'm only talking about my specific example. So then when I would go to the pub and we'd talk about it, I was like, what is going on? Everyone's here. Nobody's, you know, this all the same people are here. Everything's fine. It felt that way, you know. And then so our government's like, no, you don't understand this, people are, you know, it's everywhere. It's like the, the zombie apocalypse. That's the rhetoric that my governor was using. And uh, it killed his credibility. You know, it was like, whoa, I'm walking out on the street and it's not on fire like you said it was. Um, yes, there were areas, not so much in Wisconsin, but 
in other areas uh, that were like in New York, you know, and I think New Orleans or Louisiana or something got overrun, but it just wasn't that way here. Anyway, um, now uh, we see more people coming out and saying like, hey, I mean, I will say this about Stewart. He also went on, um, I think it was Colbert's show, and he like basically brought up he he brought up the, uh, you know, he directly disputed the government's position on this. Now here's something very interesting. It looks like, and Joe Rogan at the time of filming that I'm making this, uh, has not made any comment. I checked his Instagram. I checked his Twitter. Joe Rogan is no longer on the call for UFC 271, which is also, by the way, a great card. Uh, as controversy swirls around the popular podcasters, uh, uh, MMA color commentator, a UFC official confirmed to the post that Rogan will not be on for Saturday's event. Now, citing a quote scheduling conflict, except it looked like Michael Bisping, who they brought in last second. Uh, to cover him, like, I'm pretty sure he would have known about said scheduling conflict. Um, and he certainly would have come out and addressed this by now, I feel like. Um, Michael Bisping is being uh, is replacing Rogan on Saturday's telecast alongside uh, Daniel Cormier and John Anik. Uh, Rogan has been persistently in the news recently due to his Spotify exclusive deal, the Joe Rogan Experience, Neil Young, Joni Mitchell. Look, what this is is, is Disney. It's it's Disney, right? I would think. It, I mean, I'm I'm like live checking his Instagram right now. He he just posted this video uh, of uh, Israel. Uh, I'm not going to mispronounce his name again. Defending him. Much love and respect. So he hasn't he hasn't posted anything about not being able to make it. He hasn't posted anything about. A scheduling conflict so i i tend i tend to not believe it right i tend to 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 think that um this is b baloney and disney did it because disney owns espn even jake paul rips espn disney's decision to pull joe rogan from ufc 271 broadcast but stand behind dana white He's got this cringe feud with Dana White, but it's interesting. In wake of the announcement that Rogan won't call Saturday's event, Paul decided to chime in, although the reason behind his withdrawal was revealed to be a, quote, scheduling conflict. Paul apparently believes the UFC broadcast partner, Disney ESPN, decided to remove Rogan amid his multiple controversies. I believe they did, too. That's absolutely my belief. And you can see uh, uh, fake boxer Jake Paul writing, so ESPN and Disney pulled Joe Rogan from the UFC broadcast, but stand behind Dana White, who calls reporters douchebags they are, says female a female fighter looks like a male fighter in dress and heels. Well, maybe they did. I don't know. And claims brain damage is part of the gig. You pulled the wrong guy, Mr. Chappick. Um, you know, I, I don't know. Um, oh, he said it about uh, Chris Cyborg, apparently. Okay. I mean, you could see here, if they really pulled Joe Rogan, I will never buy another UFC fight again. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I honestly suspect that they did. I really do. I mean, why wouldn't Joe Rogan come out? I mean, this is a huge card. Jo Joe Rogan would have come out. Well, I have an Instagram account. I keep forgetting I have an Instagram account. If you check my link tree in the comments section down below, you can uh, find my in my Instagram account. Um, I've been posting to it more lately, actually. Um, it, it's interesting to me that, you know, the timing of all of this. To me, if it was a quote-unquote scheduling conflict, look, this has been on the books forever, and it seems extraordinarily unlikely that Rogan would have missed this willingly. Now, did he get sick? Did he get, you know, I don't know. But the fact that Rogan hasn't said anything, I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, it definitely looks suspicious, and it looks doubly suspicious that it's the day before the fight, and suddenly Rogan's not there. Like, 
this is going to be, you know, as for all these people that thought, including myself, that this was over last week, it's only beginning. If Disney and ESPN deplatformed him, I don't think he's going to stay silent. He already knows Spotify isn't going to drop him. He's already like walked through the fire uh, for Spotify. And I don't think that like <laughs> there's very little now that would get him. If anything was going to get him, we would already know about it. And, um, you know, Spotify's already doubled and tripled and quadrupled down on him. So there's really no point in backing out now. And um, if ESPN and Disney really pulled him, this is going to have a huge rippling effect with uh, ripple effect with the UFC in general. And I would be uh, shocked if Dana White, I mean, Dana White is so loyal. I could see him. I could see him saying like, all right, I'm, I'm not doing any more business with ESPN. Like I could literally see him do that. He he um he's that much of a of a ride or die dude. That's how it seems. Maybe people that know him would tell me differently, but it sure looks suspicious the day before to have a quote unquote scheduling conflict. Nobody's buying it, and Joe Rogan's gonna have to say something. Otherwise, if he continues to say nothing, then we'll know that it was just Disney and ESPN pulling him. Hey, if you're new to the channel, you just came across this video and you like cattails. Uh, if the please do consider clicking the red subscribe button down below the video youtube does not share out my videos the only way you'll find them is by subscribing and i appreciate it greatly i know sometimes you have to create an account or whatever and it's a pain but i would really appreciate it if you're watching on some other alt tech platform odyssey bit rumble please subscribe there too hope you enjoyed this video we'll talk to you again real soon